internet, so I feel like sometimes on here I'm so busy sharing my personality with you and being creative that I don't just say enough facts about myself that you can use to stalk me. And as I know how much you guys love stalking me, I'm gonna do a video my friend Louise made where I look back on some of my first times. Time to look back on my life. Yay. First kiss. My first proper tongue kiss, I was 11 on a school trip and I was playing spin the bottle with the cool kids in somebody's bedroom and the bottle landed on me and a girl, who I won't name, Alex. But as I was leaning in to kiss her, I suddenly realised I didn't actually know what I was doing and it turned out that she didn't really either as when we collided, we just kind of did this for 10 seconds. Everyone was silent. And afterwards I was like, you know, I didn't enjoy that that much. I don't know what all the fuss is about. First date. It was with the same girl about a month after the kiss, okay? I took her to the cinema to see the film The Time Machine, which was not very romantic and shit. And she was so scared that she cried for two hours and then didn't say goodbye as she just got into her mum's car still crying. Smooth moves, Dan. First word. My parents got this baby book, which they were supposed to fill out with all my first moments until they stopped halfway, because obviously they didn't give a fuck. But I think I remember my mum writing my first words were, mum, mum, dad, dad. Okay, two things. One, that's four words. Two, bullshit. I did not say mum, mum, dad, dad. My mum obviously just wrote that so my dad wouldn't feel bad. My childhood is founded on lies. First movie. Aladdin. Pretty good first film, right? Apparently it blew my mind so much that I went five times. First crush. According to my parents, my first ever crush was on the newsreader Moira Stewart. I apparently went into a trance whenever she appeared on TV and tried to hug her. First time I broke something. I pushed my dad's vinyl player off a drawer and blamed it on the dog. First time I nearly died. When I was a baby, I nearly choked to death in a boiled sweet until my dad held me upside down and shook me. Well, that was a fun fact. First memory. Right, I have always said to myself that I remember being born. Now, before you say something, I know that's definitely not true, but I just have this weird memory of darkness and then seeing light and a nurse's face. I'll recreate it. Yes, I just simulated coming out of my mum's vagina on the internet. First album. The first album I ever bought with my own money was American Idiot by Green Day, which is a freaking awesome album. And last month when I was standing at the side of the stage watching them headline wedding festival in front of 50,000 people, it made me very happy. <laughs> Technically, my first album was Spice World by the Spice Girls, but that doesn't count, okay? First time I got drunk. I was at a house party when I was like 14, and I drank about 16 Smirnoff Ices, and nothing interesting really happened, but... I wet my friend's bed. <laughs> In the morning, I was like, you know, I think you should wash your bed sheets after having a party. <laughs> now. And I never got a call, but yeah, tip, if you feel like you need to pee, then go, okay? In fact, ju just don't drink. At all. <laughs> First time experiencing the internet. I was like nine at my friend Rebecca's house, and we weren't allowed on the internet. But what can I say, I was a hardcore nine-year-old. So we snuck into her dad's office, and what website did we go on? Poo.com. But in 1990-whatever, Poo.com was a porn site. Neither of us had seen these things before, and then when it loaded, BAM! Tits. God, we freaked out. Turned off the monitor, unplugged the computer, and then pulled out every wire from the back of it. Basically, everything but deleting the internet history. Never got caught, though. First video game. Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Sega Mega Drive. First ever hater comment. I literally have a picture of this comment from November 2009. You're a fag without a life. This is trash, and you're great at making this. Doofess. <laughs> Amazing. First car, a red Vauxhall Corsa. They see me rolling. Now that is what I call a clunge mobile. <laughs> First hairstyle. I once used my mum's straighteners to make myself look like a surfer. Total surfer, yep. And first broken heart. There was a girl called Lizzie in primary school and I really liked her for ages. We used to hang out in the playground, she did a project on astronomy, so I did a project on astronomy. I thought we had a connection and then one day I saw her and a girl named Tabitha giggling about something when Lizzie came up to me and said, <laughs> Dan, 
I don't fancy you. And I never will. Then they run away laughing. Literally. <laughs> okay, firstly, Tabitha, you're a fucking bitch and I hope your life has gone horribly wrong. And Lizzie, look what you missed out on. Just saying. Over it, of course. <laughs> t t totally over it. Lizzie, why? I feel like I'm saying things I may regret sharing later in life. Yeah, I'm gonna stop now. Special announcement! So a lot of new people have started watching me since the start of the year. Hi! And it just occurred to me, you may not know something pretty important. I have a radio show with my friend Phil. Yeah, it's on BBC Radio 1 and it is an interactive explosion of internet humour, humiliation and music and you can watch it all live on camera on the Radio 1 website. And as of this week, it is now international. <laughs> So wherever you are in the world, you can now watch the Dan and Phil show live every Sunday at 7pm UK time. You can click here if you want to know more, as we literally just made a video saying everything you could want to know about what the show is, how you can watch it, and how to get involved. But yeah, it's awesome, and it is so much fun, so I look forward to all you sexy people from around the world watching us on Sundays. I hope you enjoyed that tour through the past the time trying to forget, but yeah, if you have any first times that you think would be funny to share, then please let me know those down in the comments, and... Maybe I'll cringe less thinking about my life. Maybe. Unlikely. It's the crime dance. It's the crime dance, yeah. Crime. <laughs>